Starting here as an experienced RN is really a challenging one. They expect you to know everything. They never really taught me their own way of priming the machine. I just watched them to do it and do it myself. Different race, different attitude, so be careful. Don't treat them the same. There's one who shouted at me that I need to work out more with the machines just because of the bubbles and air detector alarming, but no one really taught me how to prevent that. I mean, with a blue optalizer, how do I actually do that? Do you really need to shout and let everyone hear? Another one is talking to the boss right in front of me, comparing me, who is still a few weeks training, to a new inexperienced Native American nurse who is already a month ahead of me. Just by the fact that she is a Native, will not be having a hard time adjusting. And how she explained that she could have understood if it was the inexperienced nurse having difficulty, but me being the more experienced one. And that's the same person who taught me in detail how to do hand washing, demonstrating the Purell gloves medication routine, and asking me what day is their bleach day. Like degrading you not knowing the simple and basic procedure, yet making you feel dumb by asking you questions that she is supposed to be the one teaching you? I mean, how can I exactly know that when I just started? Which makes me ask if she's a low-key racist or just a plain green-eyed monster. And she's very curious about how the Philippine setup is. These are exactly the reasons behind the idea of wiping out my experience in starting from scratch because I don't want to handle things negatively. I was this close to counter-attacking like who in the world will not be knowledgeable about hand washing? But I managed so I just swept it under the rug. And when bad days just keep on piling and I was nearing the end of my training and saw the Native American in the schedule who will be on her own already, I experienced imposter syndrome, doubting myself if I could manage to be a dialysis nurse on my own when the time comes. The time has finally come to transition from training to fully work on my own. This was another month and a half and I experienced this in a different facility, which happened right after I finished and passed the final exam. One of the reasons why I was transferred other than my husband training in the same previous facility is that one of the two regular nurses resigned. The transition was manageable, like how I slowly progressed from one patient to four full patients I started working with two regular nurses scheduled for the day, learning the daily and weekly routine and more on documentation. Then slowly, I was scheduled with a partner nurse until I was ready enough to be the only nurse on schedule. In some days, of course. I resolved my imposter syndrome at this stage. How I perform in the new facility made me more confident in my old self excitingly planning ways to improve more was back. I did clearly see the difference between the two facilities because I was floated to my old facility twice and I swear to myself to never go back there again. I'd rather drive 35 minutes longer than getting stuck there with a working environment that gave me self-doubt. In that facility, there was an obvious short staff where nurses get to have the same number of patients with the PCTs and you're expected to still do the nurse roles. That was a 24-chair facility. Two nurses, four PCTs, so nurses do both full PCT and nurse roles. The second facility is an 18-chair facility. On Monday, Wednesday, Friday, one nurse opens the clinic at 5 a.m. with three PCTs for first shift, full 16 to 18 patients, then joined by the second nurse at 10 a.m. for second shift turnover and closes the third shift with one PCT 
for nine patients. On Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, it's going to be one nurse, three PCTs for 16 to 18 patients for first shift and 13 patients for second shift. Although the second facility was also short staffed, but the fact that nurses have no assigned patients, the pressure is not the same. Nurses only help taking off and putting on patients during turnover. It's only during call outs when a day is terrible, but it rarely happens, so everything is definitely manageable. During the third month, I was well acquainted with the daily and weekly routine as a dialysis nurse. At this stage, I moved forward to monthly nurse tasks of assessment and care plans, home medication reconciliation, and progress notes. I learned this the hard way because the second regular nurse resigned and I was the only one close to being the regular because the rest were merely float or contractual nurses. And imagine doing 89 monthly progress notes all by yourself. I did. Thanks to the work journal that I created to help guide me as I go through tasks weekly and monthly. I've also conquered my fear of answering the phone. There is an AA administrative assistant who handles phone calls, but her shift starts at 8 a.m. and hour starts at 5 a.m. And also for any medical related calls, it's always the nurse who take over. What I usually call are hospitals to check if patients are still in, pharmacies for patients refills, clinics to collaborate for appointments of procedures, and etc. I also figured out how to do fax all by myself. Hmm, what else do I do? But to every unfamiliar task, we have a village website where all the information can be found. An advantage of working here in the US. All the binders, machines, or e-cards, there's a copy of the procedure for each. All you have to do is go over everything. The preceptor can teach you all, so who else can fill out the gaps but you yourself? This is my sixth month up to now. I realized that a dialysis nurse here in the U.S. is completely different from what I was doing in the PH. The nurse main role here is assessment in medication, verifying the works of the PCTs, collaborating with the doctors and the medical team by taking part of the patient's care plan. All these are equivalent to physicians on duty in the PH. How we report the unusualities to the ROD in the PH is exactly the same how PCTs do in report to the nurse. They work under you, which is both great and dangerous to think of. They do the hard work for you, but in just a blink of an eye, your license can be jeopardized if any mistakes happen. That's why I take nurse verification seriously, because it is during this time when you verify if the PCT did the task properly from following the HG prescription up to setting the UF. However, as a new dialysis nurse, you rarely know the patients and it's always the PCTs who have direct contact. So work with them as a team. Just like how dialysis nurses, RODs, and APs do in the PH. Like how we are treated by the doctors back in the Philippines. Some do good, while some just love showing off their authority. Who do you want to be? It's pretty obvious. Work as a team. How they communicate here doesn't work as to who you are or what your position is. It's a simple casual conversation telling them that this patient is this and that and have no any other intention of stepping over you as a nurse. And I admire them for that, to get to casually talk to the doctors because the PH setup is really different. There's always a barrier.
I'm still at the stage of understanding this entirely new dialysis nurse role here in the US and learning as much as I can. Obviously, I am still far from being the real deal of a dialysis nurse, but that's the whole point. Treat every day as a work in progress. Always make room for improvement. That's it. Hope you learned something from this video. If yes, don't forget to click like, leave a comment for some video suggestion, and of course, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next video.